people, welcome back to Life of Birch. This is Birch and welcome here on the beautiful Chesapeake Bay Bridge on the DRZ 400 for the first time. Now this video is about a dual sport, but it's obviously not about the DRZ 400. I know you saw the title today. Oh, dude, he's flying as fast as we are. Today we're finally going to check out the brand new Honda XR 150L. I've been super excited about this bike ever since Honda announced it, because as you know, if you've seen the channel before, I love my mini motos, I love my Hondas, and I just got the dual sport, and this feels like a combination between all of them. Now, to be honest, I did plan on buying one, but I don't know if I still am going to do that because obviously I just got the DRZ 400. I got a little impatient waiting for the XR 150 to come out. Found a crazy deal on this. I had to jump on it, and now I don't know if it makes sense to have both of them, but that could change once we go to check it out. These things just started hitting showroom floors this week, so we're getting some of the first looks at this bad boy. Super excited to see it, but I digress. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are too. Let's check this thing out. And welcome here at Preston Power Sports in Eastern, Eastern, Easton, Maryland. I've never been here before, but uh, if you guys remember that guy Tyler that I bought my FZ07 from, he's actually a salesman here, and uh, he posted a couple days ago, actually it was yesterday, he posted that they had the XR150 here, and I said, say less, my boy, I'm coming to look at it. So shout out to Tyler for giving us the early access. Oh my God, dude, I thought that was a real person right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, check these things out. They got two of the white ones. They also come in black, but it doesn't look like they have any of those in here. Damn, this thing's pretty sick. This is a little cheap looking, but <laughs> the bike is cheap, you know? So I guess what do you expect? As soon as he's off the phone, I'm going to see if we can pull this out in the sun, but I got to give it the first sit down. I feel like the foot peg is bent up or something. This is comfy though. It literally, I'm sure I'm going to say this a lot in this video, but it feels like a cross between my Grom and the DRZ. And these are the same turn signals that the Navi uses, it looks like. So you guys already know we got the smoked covers for them. This is the same starter button for the Navi too. Can't get over how cheap this chrome part chrome part looks right here key goes in there and then i mean that's kind of cool how it swivels open like that but all right let's see if we can pull this thing out in the light so we don't have to keep whispering <laughs> And here she is in the sun glistening, dude. This thing looks so rad. Next to the DRZ, you can really see how much smaller it is than like an actual dual sport, you know? You can see the seat height is way, way lower. If memory serves correct, this seat height is like three inches, three or four inches shorter than the DRZ and about three inches taller than the Grom. You can see obviously the suspension is not as beefy as the DRZ, but it doesn't need to be. The wheels are shining though, I like that. One of the first things that I noticed though is how, I mean, maybe they know something I don't, but how does this work? This is the spring for the rear brake, the spring that like brings it back into place, and it's attached to the swing arm. How does that work? That's crazy. And you can see this has the rear drum brake the same way that the Navi does, but then it still has the disc brake in the front. Not a super huge brake, but you're not going super fast on this anyway. I think it's said to top out around 70, 65, 70, depending on who you talk to. A little backstory, hopefully I'm saying this uh, actually factually, actually factually. This is the XR1 50, so it's like the little sibling to the world famous Honda XR650. The XR650 has been out for exactly 30 years and for the 30th birthday they decided to bring the XR150 to the States. This thing has been in Asian markets and I think Australia and New Zealand for I think since 2014 but they just brought it here. You can see that it has the rear rack included there. It'll probably be tricky to do any sort of fender delete because the whole like plastic is there. You know what I mean? Like this piece just continues all the way through so you'd have to replace this entire 
higher part to do a fender delete. Fit and finish actually looks pretty good considering that this thing, uh, MSRP is under 3000 bucks. MSRP is 2971 which is super good. This is another bike that Honda's doing kind of like the Navi where they're just pricing it super low but still giving that Honda reliability that they're known for to bring in new riders and get that kind of brand awareness and brand loyalty. So for those of you who want to start out adventure riding, you see how cheap this is, buy it brand new as opposed to buying something used like that. You get used to an adventure bike with this and then when you're ready to upgrade to a bigger dual sport, that's when you make the jump to something like the CRF 300 or the XR 650. So super smart move by Honda. I've already seen how much the Navi brings in new riders and I'm sure this will do the exact same thing but kind of in a different uh, different sphere of riders. Now for the price, I feel like you can't beat it. It's the price of something like a Chinese knockoff type deal but it actually has that Honda reliability to it. Fit and finish isn't super great from what I can tell but that's to be expected with something cheap kind of like the Navi. Like I said, this little chrome part is kind of chintzy and cheap looking and over here some of like the finish on the frame isn't exactly the best, isn't super smooth but it's an adventure bike. It's going to get thrashed so I guess it doesn't matter. It does kind of seem like if you drop it on the side this part right here is probably going to bend pretty easily but they do have it super enforced with the welds there so that's good. Get a super basic dash setup. Looks like you just got the analog thing there. No tack or anything like that. Turn on the turn signals and it's just going to flash. It's not even going to tell you which one is on. Got your high beam indicator and neutral indicator and that is all she wrote but that's all you need. Alright now let me throw a leg over this and the DRZ next to each other from a third person angle so you guys can see kind of the difference in size between the two of them. Alright so let's get a feel for this. So that's the XR150. Bars feel a little bit lower than the DRZ. Legs are tucked in a little bit more. It feels way bigger than the Grom though. I mean it is, but I feel like I was expecting it to feel more mini moto, you know? All right, so that's the XR150, and then DRZ, you even gotta throw your leg over it so much more. Definitely more spacious, but uh, yeah, I think the wheelbase is like a five inch difference. You can see it, like it looks more, the XR150 looks more mini moto, but it still feels full size, if that makes sense. You wanna take it for a ride? I mean, if I can, I'm not going to say no to riding it. See, shout out to Preston Power Sports, dude. Where else do you get this kind of service where they're letting me demo a brand new bike? Normally, you can't test ride anything. And especially with the dealer, uh, dealer goings on that I've had recently that you guys know about. It's nice to have actual customer service. All right. Off we go, baby, XR150. All right, so we're gonna be pulling out on a little bit of highway right there, but staying kind of on the shoulder. We'll have a little bit of back roads, and then we're gonna pull out for a couple miles on the highway, coming back. All right, let's go, baby. First ride on the XR150. Honestly, she's peppier than I expected. All right, so you guys know that I'm normally not all about uh, stats and everything like that, but I do know a couple stats here, and the main one is that the Grom that you guys see me ride, that's 125 cc's. This is a 150, so the Grom is just under 10 horsepower, and this uh, XR150, I think, is 12 and a half. So you get almost three horsepower more. Okay. <laughs> Good first ride. <laughs> um, always stay alert, guys. Oh, my God. So, yeah, you get about three horsepower more, and this weighs about 60 pounds more than the Grom. Flicking it around, though, she's nimble. It really does feel like, uh, like a cross between the DRZ and the Grom. Now, the seat does have kind of like a little hump right behind you that kind of locks you in and separates the rider seat from the passenger seat. And I like that it's there, but for my height, it makes me a little bit cramped. I kind of wish I could scoot back just like an inch or two and it would be perfect. So some sort of like bench seat for this, I think would really set it off for taller riders. But their market is going to be shorter first time riders anyway. So I'd say if you're 5'9 and under the seating position, is going to be fine. Otherwise, the seating position is good. It's just uh, a little cramped. I also just realized I wasn't even in the top the top gear. So that's another thing. My Grom is a four speed. This is going to be a five speed. The new Groms are five speeds, but uh, but mine is a four. Throttle's responsive. It's not like the Navi where, now granted the Navi is CVT, so of course it's going to be different, but you know, the Navi, it, you really got to bring the throttle so far back that it's uncomfortable, but this just feels like a uh, a normal bike, you know? I think he said this is where I'm turning right. So we'll have to give it a little bit of off-road testing. Preston, if you're watching this, thank you for letting me do the test ride. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's see what kind of juice it has. So there's no tachometer. 
but you can feel when it really starts kind of crying for help and wanting you to upshift. Nimble, baby, nimble. Dude, this thing is fun. This thing is really, really fun. I know I keep saying it. Oh, that bus was 233 and my lucky number is 23. You guys think that's a sign to get it? Um, Let's try some gravel here. See what the grip is like with these tires. They're dual sport tires, so of course you're going to get the grip in kind of gravel and off-road settings, but they're still nice and rounded, not squared off to where, uh, whew, to where it's going to make on-road stuff a pain. Check us out, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, this thing is a blast. It's nice and nimble, nice and flickable, which you would expect out of uh, something of this size. You really can't even tell the weight difference between this and the Grom, for real. The torque down low is nice. It definitely starts fading out at the top a little bit, but it's a 150, what can you expect? And I'll say too, my Grom, although it's a 125, I have a decent amount of work done to that, so it's definitely quicker than a normal Grom. No big bore kit or anything like that, but has exhaust, intake, fuel tuner, all the good stuff. So it's definitely quicker, and I think this is probably more powerful than the Grom just in the XR150's stock form. The downshifts are really, really smooth, and it's kind of surprising because it doesn't have a slipper clutch like some of the um, newer bikes do, but even without a slipper clutch, it's very smooth. The suspension feels good. It doesn't feel like, um, I know I keep comparing it to a Mini Moto, even though it's not, but the suspension doesn't feel like Mini Moto suspension. It actually has the long travel. I forget the exact specs, but I'll put the specs of the uh, suspension travel right here. It's not like the Navi or the Grom where everything you hit is bottoming it out. Will it do 60? Honda says that it'll do highway speeds and we're on the highway doing highway speeds. Highway speed is 55 and we're doing about 58. We got 60 out of it. So yeah, I don't want to push it too much more. That truck's badass. I don't want to push it too much more because it's not through its break-in period yet. But from what I've seen, they said like 65 to 68 miles per hour top speed. Seems like it'll cruise at 55. So nothing crazy, but that could change once you get your break-in done and you're more willing to ring it out. But man, for one thing, I was not expecting to be able to take this for a test ride at all today, but uh, not only am I happy that I got to, but I'm very pleased with its performance. I feel like it's so approachable, like it's not super powerful, so it's gonna give the new riders confidence, but it's not so underpowered that you can't take it anywhere. Like the Navi, I'm kinda like weary of taking it places sometimes. Dude, this thing rips. <laughs> yeah. I'm kinda like weary of taking them places sometimes, but uh, but this thing, man, this is, this is great. Again, I'm beating a dead horse, but this thing is like the ultimate cross between a Grom and my DRZ. I don't know, guys, what do we think? Do we need to add one to the channel? They got two of them, and they said that one of them's already sold. Do we need to buy the other one? Dude, just look at her. And uh, this is how it comes stock. Honda does have a bunch of accessories, like a skid plate, hand guards. I think they have like little saddlebags also. All of them are super well-priced. And this, I feel like they hit the nail on the head for entry-level beginner stuff. Obviously, for about the same price, you can get something used, like a used DRZ like I have. But if you're going brand new, I'm super impressed with what Honda did with this. All right, well, we're going to cut it off there. I got some thinking to do to see if we want to add this to the fleet and add it to the channel. So leave your thoughts below. Let me know, do you want to see the XR1? 50 on the channel and if you do what do you want to see me do with this what kind of test do you want to see done what kind of carnage do you want to see ensued with this thing and of course shout out to Preston Power Sports here in Easton Maryland they're only about 40 minutes outside of Annapolis and I think only like an hour or so from Ocean City definitely worth the trip out here thank you so much for letting me do a test ride on this bad boy and check it out as some first access and of course if you come in ask for my guy Tyler best salesman they got I mean he's the only one that I've met but I know he's the best as always make sure to like comment and subscribe shout out to the Patreon members for making all this possible. Catch y'all in the next one. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, so basic. Hope you play this. Damn, I prayed it. Nice song, yeah. I be Candace. Oh, so's fake it. Pay those ay, placements. Ay, Fuck shit. Ay. And I'm still waiting on the brighter day. It's been a minute, been rough many times more. And I'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray. Praying hard, talk to me before I'm done for.